Hello, glad to see you again. This is the last video on what's new in TBC 520 mobile mapping. I'll show you two enhancements regarding colorization. Before 520, we always recommend you to colorize point clouds at the end of the data processing because the color information will be wiped out during scan updates. Not anymore. This data set has two overlapping runs. If you're a loyal subscriber, you would know that I plan to align them together with the run-to-run -run regist registration. I'll start with generating scans. This time, I will check the colorization box. Apply the vehicle mask as usual. Then process. The raw point cloud is colorized. Now I will register one of the runs to the other and update scans. I will start run to run registration. If you keep the box checked here, the updated scans will keep the colorization. But what if you uncheck it and go through the standard steps? I will demonstrate it. Keep the run selected, then go to Update Scans. Double check the trajectory, and notice that I do not need to colorize again. Leave it unchecked, and hit Process. Coming back to the 3D view, let's turn on the updated scans. As you can see, the color information is well maintained. Even if you need to update these scans again, you will not need to worry about the colorization. From here, you may continue other data processing or head to the export, which leads to the second enhancement. In 520, when you export MX9 datasets to third-party applications, you are now able to export the colorized point clouds together with the timestamps. This change applies to all MX9 exporters. Select the runs with colorized point clouds. Change some export settings. Then another job is well done. Thank you for watching. See you until next time.